Luke's Way of Looking by Nadia Wheatley and Matt Otley. All the boys in Mr. Barrowcroft's class saw things the same way, except for Luke, who looked at things differently. Every Friday afternoon during art class, Luke got into trouble. When Mr. Barrowcroft told the class to paint a portrait, Luke put the nose and ears in the wrong place. When Mr. Barrowcroft told the class to paint an apple, some of the boys did green apples, and some of the boys did red ones, but Luke chose another colour entirely. Even the other boys thought that Luke was weird. Whenever Mr. Barrowcloth saw one of Luke's pictures, he went off his brain. Why did you do this, boy? he yelled. Luke didn't know, so he said nothing. One Friday, when Mr. Barrowcloth told the class to paint what they saw through the window, Luke used his imagination. When Mr. Barrowcloth saw what Luke had done, he went ballistic. He screamed at Luke. He tore up the painting. He breaks Luke's brushes into little tiny pieces. What's wrong with you, boy? Mr. Barrowcloth shouted. Luke didn't know, so he said nothing. That just made Mr. Barrowcloth even more wild. The next Friday morning on the way to school, Luke turned left instead of right at the corner of Homer Street and hopped on the first bus that came along. He didn't care where he went, as long as Mr. Barrowcloth wasn't there. Luke stayed on the bus till he saw a building that looked like an ancient palace. There weren't any guards at the door, so Luke went in. For the first time in his life, Luke felt at home. Whoever lived here seemed to look at things in just the way that Luke did. Luke wondered what Mr. Barrowcloth would say if he were here. Even in the dining room, everything looked just perfect. After lunch, Luke went sightseeing. No matter how far he walked, there were more and more things to look at. He felt as if he had entered a whole new world. Just when Luke felt that he could burst with happiness, he found himself flying out into the sunshine. A bus to Homer Street was waiting for him. Luke sat in his favourite window seat. As he made his way back, everything seemed to have changed. Even school looked more exciting than Luke could ever have imagined. As he got off the bus, he could hear the bell ringing. Friday afternoon was starting. Luke raced into class. He could see the other boys staring at him. Where have you been? They asked. Tell you later, Luke promised. This afternoon, boys, said Mr. Barrowcloth, we are going to paint a picture of this watermelon. The other boys groaned. Luke reached for his brush and began to paint what he saw. Mr. Barrowcloth didn't know what to say. 
so he said nothing.